Now this is where most gardeners end up with a great collection of pots. I've got a whole range of them here. If you haven't got any, have a look on the roadside cleanup. Council tips, you'll often find them there. First up, give them a really good wash. Makes it a lot easier for painting later. I'm going to use them to create a bird bath. And of course, in this drought, there's no rain. You've got to look after those birds and encourage them into your garden. First step, get some waterproof paint. And I think instead of using a brush, use one of these little foam applicators and then just paint onto the inside. Now we've got to make the stand, which needs to be fairly high, and I'll explain why in a moment. So we need two of these large pots, two of the medium and two of the small. First up, we're going to put the medium on top of the larger pot. We want to get up to around about waist high so that the water attracting the birds is away from where cats can access them, so the birds are nice and safe. Then, with a pencil, just mark around the base because you might have a couple of sample little pots of paint left over and we can just paint this section here. We don't have to paint the whole lot. This needs to have the Tara Dennis sort of touch to it, a little bit more precise. I'm glad I had a little tin of this lemony yellow paint left over. It's just the shot. Now all we need is a little bit of water in there. Now you could put it in the middle of the lawn, or alternatively, I rather like it in amongst some shrubs. The birds can hide in there, pop in for a drink and a bit of a splash and a wash around, and then dart back in again. 